Yeah, hi there. These comments are for VS, and I am Michael from OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com. And you sent me a writing practice test you want me to take a look at yesterday. And uh, today I'm getting around to it. So let's see what you've written and let's see what score you would get on this. Okay, based on what you wrote here, I'm giving you a score of 4.5 on this integrated writing practice test, 28 points out of 30. This is the second day in a row I'm reading some very high quality writing here. You're probably trying to get a PhD degree here in the United States or you're some kind of a professional. Uh, this is not normal. This kind of writing for ESL, not very normal, but I have to score what you sent me, so it's 28 points. Uh, you had some minor uh, word choice issues, for example, Minnesota, you, you want to say maybe in which, or if you want to say where, it's W-H-E-R-E. -E. You had another problem in this one, this contradicts the claim made by the author of the article that bears show natural aggressive behavior. You want to change this to buy. And then you would do this, put and, and put that. So you had some parallel structure issues. So by standing on their hind legs and that huffing and growling mean that an attack is on the way. Okay, I would make maybe those. There's maybe a few more minor changes you want to make in it to improve the quality of the writing. But that's not my biggest concern. Now, I want to give you 30 points here, but I can't give you 30 points. I'm going to tell you the one thing that you can do that would really clean up the structure of the uh, essay. That's my suggestion. Notice how in the beginning you talk about the reading and then you talk about the lecture. That makes sense, right? That's your introduction. And then again, <laughs> you talk about the reading, then you talk about the lecture. However, you shifted to talking about the lecture and then the reading and then the lecture and then the reading. So I would either mention the lecture first, then the reading, then follow that structure. It's a compare and contrast structure throughout the remainder of the essay or start with the reading and then the lecture and then go that way. So I wouldn't mix it. I wouldn't mix it up. That would be my only suggestion uh, for your organization. But congratulations. 99.99999% of all writers, probably even uh, native speakers going to college, they will not be able to write like this. They just will not be able to do it. So, uh, so I'm giving you 28 points, not quite 30, but I think with a few minor changes, I think you could definitely get 30 points out of 30 on the writing section of the TOEFL IBT. I believe you can do it. Now you'll notice in the email you're looking at, if you need a little bit more guidance, uh, right below my name I have TOEFL private lessons, I have a TOEFL speaking and writing feedback service, probably perfect for you, and then I have some online TOEFL courses. All right, thank you. Now you also completed, it looks like uh, you, you're using my free TOEFL speaking evaluation service. You can only do one. Anybody YouTube watching this, I don't offer things free all the time, but you can do one free speaking practice test and one free writing practice test, and I will give you an accurate score from 0 to 30. And that's what I'm going to do here also. Okay, let's listen to the speaking practice test you sent me. Now, this is interesting. So if you got almost perfect writing scores, does that translate into the speaking Maybe, maybe not, right? So this is very interesting. So we already know that your writing score or your writing skills are super, super high. But let's see how you're doing with the speaking. Now here's the key. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I want to listen to the whole thing one time to just get a feel for your uh, delivery, language use, and topic development. And then once I listen to it, I can probably give you an estimated score. I'll listen to it again. And if I see any major problems, I will point them out. Remember that I'm direct. You don't know me. I don't know you. It doesn't matter. You want to know what your speaking problems are. And that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, here we go. In my opinion, self-study is way better than group study when it comes to preparing for exams. Firstly, in silence one can concentrate better. When we study for self, 
We can sit anywhere at a quiet place, select all the study material we require and study for n number of hours that we require to study. We can follow our own personal schedule instead of others. Secondly, in a group study, it is more about chit-chatting with friends rather than studying together. One kind of tends to get distracted in a group study when friends meet and instead of focusing on what we should do, that is study, we do other things. Thank you. In my opinion... All right, so I think you kind of started out going the right direction, but I think you are having some problems with consistency and especially with what I call point of view. So that's one of the things I think you need to work on. Your speaking is not as high as your writing, unfortunately. Okay, so let's listen to it one more time, and uh, I'll try to explain what I mean by consistency. When I mean consistency, consistency and point of view, I'm talking about uh, you, you, can, you can present things uh, from the I or the me or the my point of view. I call that first person point of view. You don't seem to be doing that much at all. Uh, the second one is the you point of view. The third one is the, uh, the, the uh, he, she, or it, or even one. And I think you like the one point of view, but you're going from the one point of view to the we point of view. So let's listen to it again one more time. Self-study is... And before I, before I, my estimate right now is you're in the three between uh, maybe 3.0 and 3.5. So I'm going to put you maybe between about 23 and 25 points out of 30. I don't believe you would score 26 or higher on this. I really don't believe you would do that. Um, you're close, but not close enough. Uh, if you go back to my YouTube channel from yesterday, I recorded a, a response from a student who got a perfect score, 4.0 out of 4, and yours is not that good. You can listen to it, compare it, you can see what, what's different in terms of language use, details, and so on. Okay, here we go. In my opinion. First of all, in my opinion, don't use that. It isn't needed. State what the argument is. What do you believe and why do you believe it? But there's no need to say in my opinion. Self-study is way better than group study when it comes to preparing for exams. Firstly. Okay, so when it comes to preparing for exams, the P you need to pronounce more clearly. You need some accent reduction practice on that. You're not forcing enough air out on that. So be careful of the T, the D, the P and the B consonant sounds. You need practice in all those areas. In silence, one can concentrate better. Okay, this is, this is the problem. You can use one, but when you say one can concentrate better, that distances yourself from the topic. Is that what you want to do in a personal experience speaking task? You don't want to become part of it? I don't understand why you don't want to become part of it. Why are you so formal there? I would use the first person and the third person point of view. If you use the first person, say I. If you use the third person, you can say he or she, or you don't want to start off with a pronoun. You can say students or people, uh, something like that. So that this is the issue. Now watch what happens. When we study for self, we can sit. So you went from one, which is third person singular, and then you changed automatically to first person plural. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. The key is to keep the response consistent. And the more consistent you are, the more organized you're going to be. Anywhere at a quiet place, select all the study material we require. Materials, again, the T sound, sounds like a D. You need to improve your pronunciation. And study for N number of hours that we require to study. Who is we? You use all these vague pronouns, right? What does that do? It makes everything not very specific. If you look at the four here, it says here, it says uh, generally well-developed, uh, coherent relationships. Here you have overall development is somewhat limited, lacks elaboration and specificity. If you say one can and we can, one can we, blah, 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 that's not very specific. You're using these pronouns that don't have any clear reference. So I think th these are some reasons why I'm putting you in the three range. We can follow our own personal schedule instead of what? 
personal what? I got to go back. Anytime I got to go back to listen to something that you said, especially given the fact that I have on headphones and I can hear everything crystal clear. But Michael, you're 54 years old. Your hearing's not as good as it used to be. You got it. I, I agree with that. But still, even though I'm 54, I have the headphones here. And guess what? I can turn them up. I can turn them up as loud as I need so I can hear you. And I got this thing turned up all the way and I have to go back to listen. Own personal schedule instead of that personal we can follow our one more time we require and study for n number of hours that we require to study we can follow our own personal schedule instead of that anybody at YouTube if you know what that student said there write it in the comments below this video honestly I can't get it it's probably a word stress issue I'm guessing or the student might have left out uh, a syllable, but if you know what the student said right there, type the word below in the comments below the video. Thank you. All right, let's keep going. Others. Secondly, in a group study, it is more about chit-chatting with friends rather than studying together. One kind of tends to get distracted in a group study when friends meet and instead of focusing one kind of gets distracted who the heck is one who is we what is going on here what if you said this uh, uh, one time when I was studying for a biology test and I was studying with three other group members to get ready for the chapter on photosynthesis right I was very distracted because one of the study group members mark he started asking other group members what movies they had seen the week before instead of talking about photosynthesis we focused uh, on movies that's what I'm talking about but that's not what you're doing so it says lacks elaboration or specificity that's exactly what your problem is here you're not very specific be more specific okay let's keep going on what we should do that is study we do other things thank you all right you're welcome and thank you for doing the practice test three three and more three uh, I'm going to put you maybe 23 to 24 points on that. I think that's probably a pretty good estimate. I think that you need to improve your delivery. I already gave you some things you can work on there, right? I think topic development, you must be more specific. Be careful about using a lot of pronouns that don't refer to anything else that you've already mentioned in the speaking response. Because if you use a lot of those pronouns, it doesn't really elaborate and it's not very specific and you will lose points on the topic development all right thank you for doing this practice test and uh, have a great day and remember again I have a lot of excellent services it looks like you need more practice with speaking than you do with writing and if you do want to do speaking uh, I think for you, I'm going to recommend my TOEFL speaking boot camp course. I think that's a good one for you. Remember, I'm tough. I'm going to tell you everything you're doing wrong. But when you get done with my course, you'll take the TOEFL. You're going to get 3.5 to 4. You'll score 26 to 30 points. Right? There you go. All right. Check out right below my name on online TOEFL courses. Click on that link and then right on the web page at onlinetoeflcourse.com, you'll find my TOEFL speaking bootcamp course. That's the one for you. It's not very expensive. I think it's right now only $45 a month. I will give you feedback every single time you do a practice test. And then eventually I will keep telling you everything you're doing wrong. And you know what? After about 25 or 30 practice tests, you will stop making those mistakes and your speaking fluency is going to go up and then you will finish the TOEFL and move on with your life. How does that sound? All right.